Hi, my name is Roslyn, and today I'll be giving you my thoughts on this Willow Go wearable breast pump. This is everything that comes with the breast pumps. There are two 21 millimeter flanges. There are two 24 millimeter flanges that I have here in the pumps themselves. There are the two pumps, two duckbill valves, two diaphragms in here, two container bowls that hold either 150 milliliters or as you can see here, it says five ounces, and then the two charging cables. These breast pumps are hospital grade. They have a suction of up to 280 millimeters of mercury, and they are rechargeable. The cables come with a kit. The chargers are a mini USB, and for each charge, this will last for up to three different breast pumping sessions. There are two different modes on this pump. There's a stimulation mode and then an expression mode. And in total, there are 15 levels of suction, but that includes the levels of suction for each mode. In order to operate it, you would just push the power button and then it turns on. As you can see, this red light is indicating that I need to charge this. It will start in the stimulation mode. And if you wanna switch automatically to the expression mode, you can just push mode Otherwise, it will automatically go to the expression mode once it stimulates for a couple of minutes. In order to increase or decrease the level of suction in either mode, you would just push the negative or the positive sign here. As you can hear while it's working, it's relatively quiet, so it's not gonna be super noticeable when you're pumping. There are indicators on the back here that designate this as the left pump and then this one as the right pump, but really that doesn't matter. That's really just for your own knowledge. To put this together, you would just put the diaphragm into the pump and just line it up. Then you put the flange into the back here. Then for the container, you take the back piece, you fit the duckbill valve over top of it and just make sure that it lines up properly. And then you put the top of the container on here. And then again, just make sure that it goes in properly so that it's properly sealed and you're not gonna have any leakage. And then after that's done, you just put the pieces together and you will hear that it does click into place. The only thing I would say about this is that there is a hole up here. This is where you would pour the milk out when you're finished pumping. Um, I would just be aware of that because if one, you are an overproducer, you can fill it really close to the top here and it will spill out. Or if you're moving around the house and you bend over just being cognizant of how far you're bending over because otherwise you can also spill it out as well from the top. Outside of that, I would highly recommend this breast pump. If you are in the market for a wearable one, I would definitely get this one from Willow Go.